I would like to start by expressing my deepest admiration for La Caixa Foundation for having proposed and coordinated this ambitious project. Um, and I have always regarded La Caixa Foundation uh, as one of the best examples of social responsibility in Europe. So now, uh, now I, I have the opportunity to uh, thank you both. Um, I, Ignacio Lopez uh, Verdeger, I Jordi um, Portabella I Calvete. <laughs> uh, thank you very much and congratulations. Uh, this project um, is also a living example of the leading role played by the European Commission to align uh, research and innovation with the needs and expectations of society. And having this conference here in Brussels uh, at the heart of the European Commission brings us a very positive message. Uh, the protagonists of this project came here as ambassadors of their citizens to present the progress uh, of RRI in their regions. It is therefore a pleasure and an honor, of course, uh, to be here and share with you what we have learned uh, over the past three years in the RRI Tools project. I believe I am here for two reasons, I think. Uh, first, uh, uh, as you, Nacho, mentioned, as president of Ciencia Viva, the Portuguese agency to promote public awareness of science and technology, um, and speaking under this umbrella, I would say that uh, from all the projects that uh, we, that I have seen at Ciencia Viva, uh, this one, the Tools Project, has been a truly unique experience. And Ciencia Viva has uh, been an active partner in many European projects. So. I am, I think, in the best position to say this. And um, secondly, I am here also because I have been working very actively in the European Network of Science Centers. Um, Excite, as a board member, as a treasurer, president, and past president. Now, and this gives me uh, an opportunity to emphasize the role of science centers on this project. Um, I am myself a director of a science center, the Pavilion of Knowledge in uh, Ciencia Viva in Lisbon. So I know that I, I sound suspicious when I say that science centers are the best place to connect people, <laughs> uh, connect people to science. And uh, I can say that science uh, that excites is my favorite network of science centers in Europe. And I can say also it is the best one. And it is true. Um, as you can see, the map of the, the uh, wide range uh, of uh, institutions um, uh, that uh, are members of Excite. And uh, science centers have been putting in practice RRI ideas and values for many years, even when maybe RRI was not common knowledge. Excite deserves a special reference for its key role in the RRI tools project, col uh, collecting and inspiring examples from most European countries and helping to build this RRI community of practice across Europe. Excite, by the way, uh, I think is organizing a session tomorrow uh, in which some of these and new inspiring examples will be uh, presented in this conference. And remember when I told you that the tools project has been a truly unique experience for us? Well, it was a unique experience. First of all, because we have been exploring a difficult territory. I hope that uh, you not blame me if um, uh, I say that RRI is not an easy 
concept to grasp. After all, if uh, RRI was already common knowledge, why would we need the RRI tools project? From personal experience, I can say that I came a long way to become familiar with the concept. More than a concept now, RRI became a practice for me. Um, the project set uh, itself the challenging task of creating effective tools to guide this exploration. In the beginning, nobody knew exactly what these tools would be. We had no models to inspire us, but we did it. And Lakaish had a, um, a key role in the creation of toolkit. Here it is. <laughs> Come on, it's time to clap, clap to the toolkit. <laughs> yeah. Um, this, uh, this toolkit is now the best roadmap into the world of RRI. And uh, how was it, it was achieved? Well, oh no, good. Um, well, the answer brings me to the next reason why this project is so unique, the RRI hubs. Um, this has been, for me, a great quality of this project. The fact that it mobilized people from Portugal to Estonia, from Bosnia to UK, from Italy to Sweden, from 30 countries all around Europe. It is really about people. Uh, the RRI Tools project is much more than a consortium. It is a true alliance. We are talking about 19 uh, uh, RRI hubs and networks, some of them covering, uh, covering more than one country, working closely with many other partners in their regions. This community developed from local alliances and three years later, the result is a vast European framework to support advocacy, training and dissemination of RRI. And in doing so, the project created the largest RRI community in Europe. And this, I think, it is the, great, the greatest legacy. How was this community built? RRI Tools embarks on a three-year long campaign of dialogue. Uh, a dialogue with all those who advocate for a world where research and innovation are aligned with society. Um, it starts by an extensive mapping of stakeholders and collaborative links already established across Europe. They searched for the best RRI case in the region. After collecting over than 200 examples of promising cases, um, these were turned into a collection of 40, more or less, 40 good practice and learning show, uh, showcases. Over 400 stakeholders from research, education, policy making, business and civil society were engaged in this process. It involved a wide debate on the definition of RRI, a comprehensive analysis of needs, constraints and opportunities. And here, uh, Athena Institute from uh, Netherlands as you heard from uh, Jacqueline, um, we are leading partners in this project, in this process. During this extensive uh, consultation, a wide collaboration started to emerge. We had reached a critical mass, uh, which allowed a methodical approach to training and advocacy across Europe with RRI tools, hubs, as main actors. Again, training and dissemination was as diverse as the RRI hubs community 
uh, itself. Many of them help at developing specific products and concrete tasks. Training workshops come in many shapes, from lectures to deliberative assemblies. Workshops are being organized with members of the national hubs, with other partners on the RRI Tools Consortium, or with external entities, national contact points of Horizon 2020, other RRI projects, and <clears throat> even ministries. This was the case in Bosnia-Herzegovina. Here we should mention uh, University College uh, London, where our colleague Melanie uh, and Steve Miller did a wonderful job coordinating the training delivered by the hubs all across Europe. And from my personal, from my personal, um, ah, okay. From my personal experience uh, in Portugal, I would like uh, to underline the fact that the work, uh, we worked alongside the government uh, for a national initiative on RRI. Uh, when we have learned about um, the RRI Tools project, now is Portugal a part of Portugal in the north? Uh, gave us the knowledge and the experience to become relevant partners of the government in mobilizing the participation of citizens, both in the setting of the national research agenda and its funding. And um, in a small uh, village in the north of the country, uh, with a partnership with the Science Center uh, the, in Bragança, uh, the Ciencia Viva Science Center in Bragança, the, our Minister of uh, Science, uh, Technology, and Higher Education, he is in your right hand, um, addressed a large meeting of citizens in a public theater to collect their ideas for research uh, in the region. It was recently, a couple of uh, months. Uh, I really would love to have the time to mention all many examples of how the RRI, RRI Tools Project has reached local communities. Um, but uh, you will hear it later on, I think, during the conference. Um, it is uh, never enough to say that RRI Tools has been an open, collaborative project, promoting alliances, but also fostering independent action. With uh, its vast network of hubs, RRI Tools created a positive change to foster social responsibility, both in research and in innovation. But above all, we learned a lot during these three years, but we have created a wide range to to of tools to help disseminate RRI, um, which is the RRI toolkit. We have collected a comprehensive catalog of good practices. Uh, we have trained hundreds of stakeholders and also teachers, science communicators, people from industry, awareness uh, uh, and civil society. We raised public uh, awareness for RRI and we reached policy makers at the highest level of governance. But now we have to look at the future. And I would like to conclude uh, saying that uh, the European Commission has been pushing forward the need of, uh, for the re, uh, responsible research and innovation in Europe. And that is why in the next years, uh, RRI uh, will be a key element in the Horizon 2020. Uh, the European Commission knows an if, that an effective way, this is an effective way to achieve uh, that goal is to expand the RRI community. 
all of us gathered here in this conference uh, feel that uh, there is uh, still a long way to go in this direction. And I'm sure in the next days uh, we will find the best way to address this challenge. So thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.